welcome back internet and today's tutorial is focused on a very very important topic that we all face in very basic questions asked from communication engineering in electronics which is why do we need modulation so uh, this is going to be my first tutorial in the series of analog and digital communication and this thing is supremely important to understand that why do we need modulation so there are a few points that I want to discuss here now <coughs> when we talk about analog and digital communication especially uh, amplitude modulation and frequency modulation our aim is to send the audio signal to distant places uh, a practical example of that would be the radio stations that you receive on your uh, radios or mobile phones so first things first there there are uh, there is some data that we need to crunch <coughs> the first thing is <coughs> or facts the first thing is th the thing that we want to send is audio which lies between 20 Hertz <coughs> to 20 kilohertz now if you look at <coughs> if you look at this frequency for audio it is very very small very very low so there are two disadvantages of having such a low frequency to be sent over the antennas if you are a size of the antenna becomes very large if you want to calculate the size of an antenna of a 10 kilohertz signal uh, you can calculate that by finding out the lambda first which will be C upon F that will become 3 into 10 raised to power 8 upon 10 let us assume size for 10 kilohertz so that will become 10 into 10 raised to power 3 which becomes 3 followed by so that becomes 30,000 meters or three kilometers and if you take lambda by two that will become 1.5 kilometer long antenna so uh, practically not possible to design antennas for such low frequencies the second advantage would be uh, if you have a lower frequency signal as compared to a higher frequency signal you can see this lower frequency signal covers uh, the phase from 0 to 360 very slowly as compared to this quicker one so as you can see uh, the lower frequency signal takes a long time to cover phase from 0 to 360 a higher frequency signal would take lesser time to uh, span phase from 0 to 360 degrees so this has got got more uh, you can say energy to propagate longer and cover longer distances so it is a popular uh, relationship that if the beta is higher or the phase constant is higher <coughs> the ability to change phase is more so the signal is more quicker more has more energy and will travel larger distances <coughs> so that is one reason we would want a higher frequency signal to be sent in the air instead of a very low frequency signal and uh, you could remember this point as <coughs> if the angular uh, frequency is more then that would lead to linear frequency being more or 
linear distance being traveled more in shorter durations and <coughs> in other words uh, a higher frequency signal is preferred to cover a larger distance so uh, these are the two disadvantages of uh, very very low frequency signals uh, that that we need to eliminate and that is why we need modulation now the first point uh, is the antenna size now if we take an example of any uh, popular FM radio stations frequency for example 92 megahertz roughly saying and if you calculate lambda for 92 megahertz uh, that will be 3 into 10 is to the 8 upon 92 into 10 is to the power 6 so if you do that that uh, <coughs> it is approximately 3.2 meters and even if you take lambda by 2 which is more feasible to design it's around 1.6 meters of antenna which is practically possible to design so if if we if we send this signal who should carry the information of our audio it will be easier to transmit this signal via a practical antenna size so the first thing is the antenna size the second thing is uh, no band pass filter the second thing would be to eliminate uh, the need of a bandpass filter if we are sending one frequency and um, some guard frequencies along with it then we do not require a bandpass filter for the reception of an entire audio range so in other words this is a range where uh, the lower end and the higher end of the spectrum would not be received properly so if we send uh, the audio signal or the information of the audio signal superimposed on a carrier of a very very high frequency then the elimination of the bandpass filter happens which is a very very important point why we need modulation <coughs> and uh, the And the third point would be uh, covering longer distances. After designing a practical antenna for the carrier frequency of a very very high frequency <coughs> as compared to our audio, the distance covered by uh, that frequency becomes manifold as compared to the audio signal if you if you send an audio signal directly by using an amplifier from a point of source it could hardly cover a few kilometers however you <coughs> know that the FM signals cover a range of um, 10 to 20 kilometers around the city and that is because <coughs> a high frequency signal is able to cover larger distances and moreover uh, an additional demodulation process makes the signal um, reception more secure and, and less vulnerable to interception so these are the three points that we need to remember while performing modulation of any kind so essentially if you want to study analog or digital modulation techniques you should be aware of uh, the reason why we are doing it and the reasons are pretty basic and they're very logical so if you you should 
now i hope this quick tutorial on uh, the need for modulation in analog and digital communication technique was helpful if you liked the video please hit the like and subscribe button and support the channel thank you so much for watching the video have a good day good life bye